In our last Super World, I said if you hit 50K likes, I would make a brand new one, and you hit 100K. So 100 whole ass hours later, a brand new Super World, and trust me, this one's good. This isn't nearly as BS as the last one. Even Matt Pat could beat it. The guy who's, who's second place to Rubber Ross. Hey. But I'm just gonna walk through it because everyone liked it when I did that last time. And trust me, I am so proud of this world. So if you want to try it, go ahead. I, I think this is like actually just a good game. So challenge all the other YouTubers, streamers to beat this because, oh, this is one's good. I'm happy. So the first few levels are all grass themed. Like instead of just throwing random levels together, I made one cohesive world. And they're all pretty easy and the difficulty gets more and more intense as it progresses. You know, like a video game. Well, I'm allowed to die in my own super world. You know, just so other people can, so they feel good about it. And there are four red coins hidden in every level. They're not required, they just kind of give you bonuses and stuff like that. You know, there are tons of little secrets throughout these worlds. Oh, okay, there there you go, that's what you do. Um, we don't have to kill all the Yoshis, but like, we definitely can. We will kill this one, and that one. You have to kill that Yoshi to save this Yoshi. You leave that one for dead, and then you take this one in the back room and no one knows what goes on in there. Yeah. I bet you're as surprised as I am. None of these blocks have intentionally killed you yet. It's like I actually put a hundred hours of effort into this. And like, I know that a lot of people have tried to speedrun my levels and, you know, inevitably people will try and speedrun my super world, so... I left a lot of skips in here for you guys. Because if you take this propeller hat over here, you can, uh, you only have to use it twice, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, I mean, three times. Uh, you can get this cat suit and, you know, take some damage so you don't have the propeller hat on you anymore. And did you know that cat suit can go through invisible blocks? And that's just one of the many exploits in New Super Alfred World. There are 35 levels in this, uh, it's only 27 are required, I think. Lemmy is just like, kind of, kind of a pace eater, you know, so I just wanted him to look like as worthless as he possibly could, because he's just hanging there. He's not doing anything. And then if you just go down, it, it just feels like he doesn't know how to put his castle together. You know? Uh, yeah, you can just you can go over here. Yeah. And this POW block, uh, I would take this if I were you. Because then you, you can just throw it and kill him immediately. <laughs> it's just funnier. I think it's good. I like this level. It's simple and it's bad, but like that's kind of what the little Timmy is, you know what I mean? And yep, world two. This is where we start to run into a lot of branching paths. For speedrunners, I definitely think up is faster. Not only is it just one fewer level, but you can go in this top level fast. You guys remember this jump, right? As elegant as always. It honestly upsets me <laughs> that like we only got Link. I would have liked a Kirby. A Samus would have been cool. Like, I don't know why they just ended it at the link. And again, I'm not gonna play all the levels cause like, you know, you can play it if you want. You can stream it. Just tweet at me if you stream it cause I'll pop into all these chats. I just, I just wanna watch people play this. It's so fun. And this time, not nearly as sadistic as the last world. So this is like a, an auto scroller, right? But it's an auto scroller done fast. And, uh, which is kind of crazy, you know? Because, like, you don't have to go on the path that the game wants you to. You can just go as fast as you want. It just looks like an auto-scroller. I promise you, every time you have to go slow in this game, there's 100% always a way to go fast. Um, and then we just beat up the bully. Dude, I always get so scared. That bullet bill always terrifies me. It's RNG. Sometimes he blows up, sometimes he doesn't. I never really know what to do, but I kept him because, again, <laughs> it's just funny. So unlike the last level, there are things that can actually kill you here. Because Roy, he knows how to design a tower. And I mean, you can just damage boost through that, come on. Uh, you can one cycle Roy. They just kind of made him a bitch. I, I thought this would be like more interactive, but... Oh god, oh god, oh no. Okay, this is the actual boss fight. Oh, oh my god. Ah! That's impressive. Okay, they have infiltrated. All right, all right, all right. Help. How, how, how did I end up here? <gasps> I had no reason to survive that. <laughs> that was a certified gamer moment if I've ever seen one. 
Like, first of all, it was impressive to be stuck there, and it's even more impressive to get out of there in one piece. I'd love to see like 80% speedruns on this. Eventually, I will hold a contest for the entire super world, so get ready for that. But in the meantime, just time yourself. I think this is probably gonna end up being like 30, 45 minutes, and if you're blind running it, probably like three to four hours, so good luck. This was the first level I made for the Super World, because, like, you know, the last patch they introduced Super Worlds and all that, but also all these new hats. So this was just me, like, messing around with the bullet bill, and then I go, oops, I am just going to make a whole new Super World. And a lot of people might be saying, like, oh, what about the first Super World? It's gone now. You can only have one. Ah. Uh, I just made a new account, so both Super Worlds are still existing. But yeah, to do that, I had to buy an online subscription that absolutely works. Oh, and then we're going down. It's essentially over at this point. Yeah, so this is another one, the split pass. These all focus on like aerial abilities. You know, one is the cat suit, one is the, the acorn. And after messing around with acorn, dude, this sucks. Why? Why did they introduce, out of all the things they could have added in Mario Maker, I think I'm the most disappointed by this one. And yeah, like I don't want to like reveal where all the red coins are because I want some mystery, but like, they're, they're hidden all around you. You just gotta explore a little bit. And I don't know why I did this. Was I out of ideas? Did I just think the scenery was pretty? Probably a combination of the both. And then this one, what is this? Oh, this is Rainbow Way. This one is sick, but in like a hard way or hard in a sick way, I don't know. Um, it's a lot of platforms going down, a lot of jumping over munchers. And this is one of those levels where I think Red Coin is actually like faster and Honestly, easier if you know the strats. And I think the strats for this one are pretty cool because you got to get this P-switch and ooh, ooh, a little some speed tech for you. Wait, hold up, gamer focus because this one's hard. I did it, no! I just, I was mispositioned on the door. Oh, I got it, okay, that's it. I'm not gonna get this checkpoint because if I die, I don't want it. I'd rather get all the red coins and oh, sick jump. Uh, oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I only have myself to blame for that one. Actually, going from all the other levels, this is kind of a ramp up in difficulty, but it's like the penultimate level before the boss, so like, I, I guess it makes sense. But oh, you aren't ready to see the boss level after this, because it's, uh, wait, gaming? Oh, got it? Oh, all right. Uh, it's not over yet. It's, it's, uh, still, still a little bit more. We gotta make this one jump. This jump, and now uh, go in the door, go in the door, go, okay. This level is supposed to be intimidating. There is a whole lot of level here, but I'm just gonna show you this trick, cause like some people might just jump on that, then go in this door and be like, wow, there is a level. But what if I told you there really isn't a level here? Yeah, so if you get a running start and start spin jumping on this bomb, uh, you just kind of fly forward. And if you time it right, uh-oh, secret door. I don't really know why I put this in there. It just, it just felt fun. I think I wanted these skips to be prominent because if people want to speed run this entire super world, playing like 40 levels is a lot. Cause even like original Mario, you know, they spread it all up. But this is like, I got to make it as fast as I can, you know? I didn't realize it, but Vine Velocity and Rainbow Way were made in like the same day. So you can kind of see the similarities between them because like these jumps with the falling platforms and munchers are like very similar. Um, and then right here, I think this is good design because if you hit it forward, you get that red coin. But if you don't, you know, you don't lose anything. And bada bing, go in the door. Um, this part is just kind of like a reaction test. I'm just going to get all the, all the coins. And this is the last red coin. It's just, uh, you got to spin jump the bomb again, hit it the right direction. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a key. All right, and now you can go up and do the rest of the level, or if you got all four coins, say, see ya. Here is a split path. I'll be honest, I don't remember what's right there, but I do know that Sunken Mansion is the faster route. Um, swag jump. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a swag jump. Do it again. Oh, oh, God, I'm so good at Mario. This game really makes it feel like Mario, you know? So this is supposed to be like a ghost house, you know? And ghost houses have secret entrances, just like this ghost house. 
So what you need to do is get a fire flower, kill the Goomba, but uh, what if you didn't? You just gotta hit the P switch, go in here, and then watch this. The bomb clears this path for you because it's programmed to where uh, the things don't come down if P switch is active, which I think is pretty cool. And so you go in here, get P balloon, and you hit the P switch, and you have to rotate before pressing A. You have to rotate, and then... See, there we go. That's how you do it, and now you can see the exit to the sunken mansion, because doesn't it feel like a ghost house exit? Because that's 100% what I was going for. Because they made you do some dummy shit back in the day. And then you get the split path, you can go to that castle if you want, or you can just go to the bigger castle, and oh, this... We are now getting to the point where I can justify having harder and cooler levels, and this is definitely one of those. So Larry's spinning tower is like a vertical spin jump level, and I don't feel like I see a lot of those. It's all about just utilizing spin jump as well as you can, and oh, it's so cool. All right, get on the right side. Okay, so just pretend that was the first try, because it was. And again, just more bomb jumps, but now you're going up, and then you gotta hit the right way, hit that on switch, and you're golden, and now it's time for the final boss. I have gone through multiple concepts for this one, but all of them just turned out to be too hard. So, yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, he's not dead? What, what? Oh, he was airborne. Well, uh, oops. Mmm, this whole world's momentum mountain. You remember the sickest level I made? Imagine that across like a whole world. Snowy Ascent's really sick. There is one very, f it's so tight. This fr this uh, tech I discovered on accident. So like, it's hard. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna do it, but like, oh shit. Um, so if you can, oh my god, I think I lined it up too. You can stand on that bullet bill and go into the door there. Oh, but yeah, what you really got to do here, you just grab this duck and yeah, you know. Yeah, there's tons of like secrets for all the red coins and whatnot, which I'm not really going to waste your time and show you all of them because you got to find those on your own. That's a scavenger hunt right there. Okay, okay, we're, we're going YOLO now. Um, to the left is the door. I'll tell you that much. And now I'm just trying to survive. Okay, get rid of that shell. We're pulling down, going over here. It looks like you're gonna die though, doesn't it? <laughs> like just for a split second, you have no faith in what's going on. But it's okay. Oh, okay. But for real talk, you remember uh, Momentum Mountain? This was just kind of like a streamlined version of it. I took the best parts of it and just put it into one smaller level. That little thwomp chomp that everyone hated? Yeah, it's optional. It's only for a red coin now, so. It's like, the red coins to me are just an, a completionist route, because I really do view this as like its own video game. And then here's the momentum mountain jump that everyone knows and love. It's much more generous now, so like... It's, it's okay if you mess up, I won't judge. See, uh, I didn't get the red coin, but that's okay. It's okay. See, good enough is good enough here. I'm not requiring frame precision anymore which I don't think a lot of people loved. Will there be an all red coin speedrun category? Yeah, I would like to see people like trying to speedrun all red coin eventually, that'd be cool too. And this is just a race, you know? And that's like the first time I've beaten both of them on the first try, because the race actually gets easier the second try. So yeah, that's it. Ooh, this level is hard. Only like the first five seconds are hard, but those first five seconds are just very hard. That's not the hard part of the level. <laughs> I just... It... <laughs> uh, you know? You just gotta wall jump right there. And the timing of it is a little hard. But, like, it's definitely... Oh. Okay, then. So, this is some real bullshit. Um, my mind wanted to make a route that was, like, 100% optimal. And it makes the level, like, exponentially faster. But... You you run the risk, you know? I don't remember the exact timing on these, but like, you get what I'm going for. I'm probably not going to do it, but you know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that was close. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. This puzzle is actually not as hard as it looks. You just can't hit the piece. Woo! 
And now you actually want the icicle to hit the P switch. Oh, and then if uh, you didn't take damage and you're still Builder Mario, you can go through that. Um, I haven't done any optional levels during this because I want you to witness them, but I, I think this one's cool. It's just, it's a Koopa the Quick Race recreated in like Mario Maker. I made this level while I was making a shit, so that's why it's like only 20 seconds long, <laughs> you know? Uh, it just requires you to go fast and you have to outrun him. He puts checkpoints there, so if you go too slow, you die. And you need him to get to the finale, otherwise you, uh, uh, he, he does it for you. You can't beat it without him. This whole snow world, because, you know, everyone thinks icy and, like, oh, bad movement and stuff like that. But funny enough, this entire world, I think, like, it's all about movement. Even the castle, it's the exact same way. I think the reason I went all crazy in the ice world was because, like, now you can just, uh... It's just the, the aesthetics are nice, you know? Oops, there's a secret right there, by the way. If you can get Yoshi to take damage, you Mario gets invincibility frames, and that is what I'm trying to show you. Like that. And then there's a door right there, which uh, isn't really well explained, but I feel like if you explore it enough, you can figure it out. And there you go. And then this part of the level is just a whole bunch of go fast, eat ass, and just do all the spin jumps. Oh, and if you go fast enough, you get that coin. And now you just go fast again. Ah, oh, it's so scary. None of it looks like, yeah. That's a change up right there. It got me. <laughs> I got myself there. <laughs> like I made this level, but I made it months ago. Like when did this patch come out? Cause I started working on the super world that night. So it's taken me like a few months to make this. But so like these levels, some of them were made months ago and I've genuinely forgotten some of the haha gotcha moments and uh, since it's been so long, I am haha -ha getting myself. This boss, however, is sick, because this is just uh, a survival thing. And, uh, you, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a lot of fancy movement. And also, Koopa shells get rid of fire. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped there. But every time Morton ground pounds, which he has not ground pounded a single time yet. Has anyone found out, like, what makes him ground pound? Because sometimes he'll just ground pound, like, three times in a row. And I have no idea what controls that. And sometimes he just likes to throw fire at me, which I think is very fun. Whoa, 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 what the, what did I do? What, what, ha, ha, oh my God, I panicked. That wall jump was a complete accident. Oh my, my heart like dropped. There were so many avenues. I could have just died there. That, all right. And now we go to the desert level, which is also very movement based, but in like different ways. You know what I mean? It was just like a bullet hell, you know? It's, it's a uh, pea balloon, which I think pea balloon's really cool. I haven't seen a lot of people utilize it a lot. It's not like a bullet hell bullet hell, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you can do this. Uh, sometimes you do it right. What I just did was not. Start surviving, because there's a pink coin exit right there, which makes me think pink coin is actually faster. And is it red coin? Is it pink coin? It, I don't, it's both. I'm as woke as a suburban white mom because I, I just don't see color, you know? Now we have, I think this is the last level, the most recent level I've made for this, uh, Power Up Plateau. This is the moment where I'd like to shout out Lugi and Tobias Bergdorf because they've made like tons of Mario Maker content and a lot of it is just like, here are new ideas you can do. So I, I did take like a lot of proposals they had and I try to put my own spin on them. But sometimes it's just like, I took their concept and just kind of like put it in here. And uh, dude, good content. You gotta check them out if you're struggling with ideas. Cause all I did for these levels was watch other streamers, see what they do, watch other creators. Cause that's where I got the idea for this jump. Cause that's just from like a panga level. And it, it just works well, you know? This level is treated very interestingly. Cause if you couldn't beat that, you would eventually go into that piranha plant pipe and then it gives you a star if you can't do it. And this is a spring jump where, uh-oh, I messed up the spring jump. I'm no good at this game. Yeah, no, it's, it, this level just begs you to beat it. It just so desperately wants you to beat it. Cause like um, this pipe right here, there are like 15 different ways that I found out to get in it. So like, if you want to do the same piranha plant jump, if you just want to stack boxes, if you want to damage boost off it, anything works. Like, literally anything. Did I just talk through that entire level? I don't even think I'm editing that. I, I think that's just a... Oh, if you go right there, you can actually like first cycle it. I always forget about that, but it's possible. And the strat here, I guess it's better for me to show you this. Uh, you just arrow bomb and then you get strapped. But I want all the red coins, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that real quick. Goodbye. Wendy's dry, dry dungeon. I think this is the part where you can see that my sadist nature starts to come out a little bit because 
why would someone else make this level, you know? <laughs> like, you, look, look at this little guy peeking out. If, if you mess up, you die. But do, do you want to commit too hard? I, you know, no, I don't know. Um, all right. I always had to, like, like remember what I did because I don't know how twisted I was feeling that day. Like, did I stub my toe? Is that why I'm taking all my anger out in, you know, form of Mario Maker? I'm glad I spent, like, this entire uh, session garnering lives so I can, like, throw them all away in this level. You know what I mean? Oh, go in the pipe! Uh, oh, why, why do I do this? Why do I make these things? Oh, uh, wall jump! Ah! <laughs> it's so hard. Okay. Remember that, what I just did? Let's do it again. Next time. It'll feel bad when people wall jump instead of spin wall jump because, like, uh, it, it makes a little bit of a difference. Do I have it this time? Just realize that, like, if I'm the creator of these levels and I'm suffering on them, if you do, it's okay. But, oh, look, there's a coin down there. Wouldn't it be great if I got it? <laughs> it's a Kaizo block, but it doesn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it just wastes your time. So I have labbed out uh, this whole level, and I think, like, the real strat is to not even, like, get hit right there, but if you just kind of walk in this left corner after the beginning, I think you're just fine. Nothing can hurt you except that. Because now I'm chilling in the exact same space I was last time, but we won. Crazy. Oh! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I the way that I am? Why did I put more level after the boss fight? So people can die right there. <laughs> uh, something is wrong with me, isn't it? It's like when you see this, you've done it before. All this stuff was already in the level. The heartbeat doesn't help, but now you're just like, it's so simple where I'm going to feel so stupid if I mess it up. And good thing I didn't. <laughs> now just destroy all the Windies. <sighs> okay. On to World 7. Is this one fun? I don't remember. Is it going to scar me? It can't, because I made it. <laughs> it can only scar all of my loving and supportive fans. Um. So this is like a cute little trick. I'm happy with it. Uh, what you're supposed to do is uh, the whole castle revolves around Spike. See, that's what you're supposed to do. But um, at the same time, if you take the shell with you, you can just bring this up and just destroy a block. And yeah, that, that's probably the speedrun strat. Oh, that did not look like I hit it. That did not look right to me, but we, we take it nonetheless. Oh, wait, oh God, please don't kill me. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Up oh, and now it's Gucci. Just cool. Oh, this is just a dumb little boss fight. It's like Bowser Jr. hasn't gotten a level yet, so I just thought, you know, might as well give him some love. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, can, can we be cool, bro? Can we... Bro, come on, come on. Okay, I know how I can... I know how I can do this. I know, I know I can. By dying and resetting, yes. So the real strat I had, I was gonna try and, like, spin jump off. Did I just... Break my own shell by hitting another shell into my shell. I don't think I've ever died on this boss. Like, through all the testing, I, I don't think dying on this boss was ever something that happened. So, it's just... I don't know what about this level today. Because, like, if you've played the Super World yet, you know that, like, this is not one of the harder levels. Yet, here we are, after losing 20 plus life. Okay, what? Um, just look at that stupid baby in gay baby jail. Yeah, that's why I thought... Oh. Yeah, there's a timeline where I died. But yeah, there's a secret path right here, which is this is just a bullet hell level, and ah, uh, it's a lot and optional because it's uh, a lot. And I think this is one of the sickest levels. Uh, Dash Block Blitz. Yep, that's the one. This one was heavily inspired by one of the Loogie videos, just because like that, that channel is godlike, man. He, he just gives you all tons of good ideas and just gives you the world to work with. And I just try to make the rest as good as that one idea he had. And this is a little trick, because a lot of people want to jump and then go in it, but you just, you just jump in it. It's, it's a little bait. I actually mash, like, getting, con I use analog stick, and uh, getting analog stick ground pound right there is hard. So I switch to D-pad and start mashing crouch on it during that part and that part only. And then I die here, because that's just how tradition. And now it's all about the pow hat, which, oh, this also feels satisfying. You, oh, yeah, you don't need the bullet bells. And also, you can save 
this house and you can either tank through that or get that red coin I, either works oh and now we do this i forgot oh dear oh dear god okay don't mess this jump up Whoa. oh and this is the part where you can die if you want i have <laughs> like i was just trying to run through the super world on my own the other day and i don't know how but i lost like 13 lives to this one fight i it, it was shameful it's just like every day i just change up which level i'm going to be bad at that day and that's it and now we move on to ludwig's bullet hell or bullet castle or bullet shooting range i didn't put bullet hell because i feel like nintendo wouldn't let that pass through their good boy filter all right so you just go through here and this level looks fine and dandy right well no <laughs> It, it doesn't actually, it looks like hell. And that is uh, intentionally done. So yeah, the pea balloon just works best for bullet hells because you can just, you know, make Mario the tiny little hurt box, put Toho and smash, please. Sans Mecha Koopa, Sans Mecha Koopa. And this is the only castle that has red coins. And these are like less collectibles and more so like, oh, you have to do them. Um, this was one of the first levels, if you can't tell, so I didn't really have that idea in mind. But since none of the castles have red coins anyways, it like, it, it doesn't change up that much. All right, let's see if I got a good cycle, because this is all kind of RNG. It's not RNG, it's just a uh, pain, I think is what I'm trying to describe. Okay, and now it's F Ludwig boss fight time, which, have you guys heard of Toho? Well, if you haven't... <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're in for a, a bad time, haha. <laughs> but uh, simple movements is the strategy I have for you guys. If anyone's wondering, how do I beat this? And then after a while, I just like to hide over here because uh, it, it'll kind of play itself after a while. See? Oh, you thought it was over, huh? Well, it is. That's not usually how that level went especially when i was trying to upload it that's like one of the hardest levels and i first try that but mess up on everything okay and now we're going to the final world this is it this is what it all comes down to because this is the final battle pretty hard. Then after you defeat the hardest boss fight ever, the final level truly reveals itself. But yeah, the middle castle is just a um, boss rush. It's just a mashup of all the bosses throughout the super world. So if you want to do that, it's completely optional. If not, you just get to skip it. That's the luxury of this. And now the new super world would not be complete without a new labyrinth, Alpha Squared. So this is the sickest level I have ever made. It is a compilation of all of my levels. It's like the WarioWare gold, you know, like it's, it, it just, it's good. It's Champions Road theme, you know, you have uh, Galaxy music playing in the background. But, you, you know, like all, all these jumps you know and love, and you know, some that you hate, this is just everything compiled into one. And boy, is it terrifying because there are no checkpoints. You play Champions Road, it's just like that. You remember Crimson Flower? Oh, because it's it's like that. Oh my god, this this level is not for the lighthearted, I'll tell you that much. And oh, oh, but we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Holy shit, we're doing it. Oh my god. Or is this? This can't be a first try. This cannot, no. Wait, wait for it. Holy shit. Okay. We, we could do this. My heart's being a little bit, because like I, I didn't think I was gonna do this well right out the out the gate, so now it's kinda like do how do I deliver on this momentum? Um if I get hit right here, I don't care. L luckily Mario, you know, balls of steel. Um there is the actual path to the right, but there's a little secret right there. I think it's like barely faster. It's just easier and it's just like, it, it's cool. And now, oh my God, this is the end. Oh my God. I didn't think I was gonna first try this, especially with like how much there is to this. Well, that's Super Alpha World World 2, everybody. God, I hope you like it. God, I hope you play it. And God, I hope you subscribe because you know what? Eventually, I might make Super Alpharad World 3, and 
that's my uh, 2.5 million sub special. I know we're a little bit away from that because I got to give myself time to make that. So when we hit that, it goes live. So thanks for watching. Have fun running it. And I guess subscribe for more.